Hi. In this video, we are going to learn how to do cost efficiency using Excel. So cost efficiency, the linear programming for cost efficiency is this, where the objective function is to minimize WI zero XI. WI stands for prices of the firm under observation for every input. XI's are the inputs. Here, x size, we need to optimize the x size, that is the quantity of the input. Subject to constraint, lambda j x i j, that is, bits multiplied by inputs should be less than or equal to x size. Second constraint is sigma lambda j y r j, that is, weights multiplied by outputs should be greater than y r zero, output of form under observation. And lambda j is equal to one. Uh, the sigma lambda j is equal to one means the total of weight should be equal to one. This is VRS assumption, and all the lambdas are non-negative. If you observe here, we are not taking any phi or theta, any expansion or contraction factor. Rather, our objective function W i the prices are given as we assume that firm is a price taker. We need to find out the X that is the quantity of inputs that minimize the total cost. So let us go to Excel. Here we have an example with 99 observations and one output kilowatt hour and two input labor and sorry three inputs labor fuel and capital. So we have one output and three inputs. Now if you look at this example, we are given prices. PL stands for price of labor, PF price of fuel, PK price of capital. Earlier examples, we used to strictly uh, do the, our computation based on quantities. Now in this cost minimization problem or cost efficiency, we are working with prices. This is also called as DEA with market prices. Here we also assume that firm is a price taker and not a price maker. So our linear programming solution cannot do anything to the price. We have to take whatever the prices are given. Whatever solution we would arrive would be around the quantities. So we have one output, three in inputs and prices of three inputs. Let us start about so going about how to solve this using linear programming or solver in Excel. We start with mentioning the, okay. The first thing what we do here is we find out actual cost. I call this actual cost as C0. Actual cost is all the quantities multiplied by prices. So labor into labor price, fuel into fuel price, capital into capital price. So we can use the formula of some product of all the quantities of input, comma, all the prices. So we will get actual cost. C0 is, let me write, actual cost. C0 stands for the actual cost that we have. Now we need weights. So lambda, you can write weights also. Let us put initial lambda as zero. Okay, now we start unit. We start with say unit number one. We work under assumption of VRS. So we also need sum of lambdas or sum of weights, sigma lambdas. So sum of weights. Now let us go to the first, the constraint side where we make our left hand side and right hand side and later on we will come to the objective okay if you look at the left hand side it is lambda j x i j for inputs lambda j y r j for outputs so it is some product of this is output kilowatt hours. So some product of output and lambda weights. 
I fix the lambda weights so that we can simply drag it. So labor would be labor into lambda weights, fuel would be fuel into lambda weights and similarly capital into lambda weights. Now right hand side of output, if you look at this constraint, right hand side of output is nothing but actual output by R0 is actual output. So just using index command and array of output, we also need to mention unit and of obser under observation. Here it is unit number one. So output of unit number one is eight. That will be reflected here. We use index command here. Now these three cells, let me highlight it. Labor, fuel and capital quantities. This X size. You can see this x size in constraint is also x i in the objective function. Here our objective is to minimize cost using these quantities and these quantities are unknown and linear programming will solve it for us. So we are going to solve it. Let us assume the initial quantities to be zero. You can take any value, linear programming will uh, optimize that for you. Let us also take price because here we are concerned with quantities. So price, we use index function. Okay. Index function. Okay. So for price, we need price of input. So if we use index function, labor, so PL, I select the array PL and unit under observation k2 i fix this cell k2 so i get the price of labor for form 1 unit 1 and i drag it so i get price of fuel and capital also here this is the price okay now we need c star c star is the minimum cost c star this c star is the minimum cost okay so c star formula for c star this is our objective function also we need to minimize we need to minimize the weights or oh sorry we need to multi minimize the sum of prices and quantities sum of prices of input and sum of and into quantities of input so C star is actually some product of this minimum quantities that our linear programming will give and it's right. And it's prices. Now we need C star, then we need C zero for the form under observation. C zero, that is actual cost we have found using index command. I select the array of C zero and I mention which unit, unit number one. So we will get actual cost and we will got get cost efficiency is equal to C star by by C zero. So cost efficiency is C star by C zero. This is cost efficiency that we will find. So let us go to solver. set objective our objective is to minimize the total cost by change minimize select minimize by changing the cells here we can change lambda and quantities 
so by changing the cells we will select lambda weights and the quantities of input of labor fuel and capital i select the complete array subject to constraint first output left hand side should be greater than equal to right hand side of output click on add for inputs the array of inputs should be less than equal to the array of right hand side of inputs click on add and sum of all the lambdas should be equal to 1 only three constraints we have select simplex linear programming and click on solve so here for the form 1 you can see c star and c0 both are same so cost efficiency is 1 let us see what we get for say form number 99 which is last so i write form number 99 i click on solver and solve again it is one again for any other unit say 18 okay here the cost efficiency is 0.23 so cost efficiency here c star is 37000 and actual cost is 1 lakh 57000 so there is a scope for reduction of cost a huge scope for reduction of cost so the cost efficiency is 0.23 okay now what you can do further is you can bifurcate this further into technical efficiency and allocative efficiency so cost efficiency can be decomposed into cost efficiency can be decomposed into allocative efficiency times technical efficiency into bracket i am writing i that is input oriented technical efficiency okay. cost efficiency is allocative efficiency into technical efficiency input oriented we have cost efficiency here we can further decompose it now we need to find allocative efficiency and technical efficiency so what we can do is in a new sheet find out technical efficiency first so let us select these columns only the quantities column okay. now using this quantities what we can find is technical efficiency input oriented lambda weights zero let us set initial lambda weights as zero unit say we are calculating for unit number 18 there so i am writing unit number 18 sum is equal to sum of all the lambda weights which we will set to 0 sorry uh, which we have which would be equal to 1 under vrs assumption and here we get theta it is also referred to as beta in literature okay so it is nothing but technical efficiency technical efficiency input oriented let me set theta to 0 we have one output and three inputs left hand side right hand side left hand side is sum product of array of output comma the weights fix the lambda weights by pressing f4 close the bracket and drag it across so you will get labor into lambda weights similarly for fuel and capital right hand side would be using index command select array of output and unit under observation 18 okay. so it would be output and this is input oriented technical efficiency so here we will have 
theta or beta, whatever you want to call it, into index of it is labor. So area of labor, comma, unit under observation. I fix a unit under observation. We can also fix G6 because theta is same for all. So for fuel, it will be theta into input of form number 18. And similarly for capital, it would be theta into form uh, into uh, theta into capital of form 18. Go to solver. Here we need to, this is input oriented. So we need to minimize theta or say beta by changing the cells, lambdas, that is weights and theta, technical efficiency, subject to constraints, add output. So left-hand side of output should be greater than equal to the right-hand side, add array of inputs of left hand side should be less than equal to the complete array of right hand side add and sum of weights should be equal to one click on ok simplex linear programming and solve so here we get a beta of 0.58 This is the technical efficiency of input oriented for form number 18.58. Let me copy this value. Now we go back to our sheet. Okay. Here, let me write technical efficiency value. Technical efficiency is equal to 0 0.5. From our computation in other sheet, we found the technical efficiency is 0 0.58. Okay. Now cost efficiency is allocative efficiency into technical efficiency. So allocative efficiency is equal to cost efficiency divided by technical efficiency. Cost efficiency divided by technical efficiency. So 0 0.23 divided by 0 0.58, this is allocative efficiency. So cost efficiency is can be decomposed into technical and allocative efficiency. So, this is the values that we get.